Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I'm here to go through my um, melting box for the week, so everything I've picked for this week. The video might run, run on a little long, um, and that's because this week, I think I'm already regretting it, um, I've decided to, I, I basically raided the sample box. So I have, I tend to keep most of my samples from all sorts of brands in a separate tub. Um, and I decided this week that it's kind of filled up to overflowing, like I'm just not pulling from it enough. So I have increased the amount of one-off scents that I usually, that I melt this week. Normally I'll do, um, like I have eight warmers in the house. One of those warmers I'll do as a one-off and then everything else will be sort of, you know, those two, two warmers, two bedroom warmers, I'll do them the same, that sort of thing. So this week, um, because I have a lot more samples, there's a lot more scents to talk about, even though it's the same amount of wax overall. Um, and I'm probably going to get really annoyed at myself this week because I just having that many scents on in the house is probably going to irritate me. But I just really wanted to work the sample piles down a little bit. So, um, but I'll probably get to them because I'm guessing they're all sort of at the bottom of this box. So I'll get to them when I get to them. Um, so I'll start off as usual with, you know, whatever I can reach, which seems to be clamshells or some of them. Uh, so Super Tarts Tardis, which is Blue Sugar, Earl Grey Tea, Sweet Cakes and um, Vanilla Cream. I really, really love this. Blue Sugar and Tea and Cakes together is fabulous. Um, I've got some Super Tarts Snape, so Magically Delicious Cinnamon and Sugar Cookies. Really enjoy this one. This is actually one of my favourite, but I think that's one of my favourite um, Magically Delicious scents. Uh, I've got a scoop here, a Maple and Model uh, Mermaid Champagne, so this is really nice and summery and fruity, like kind of fruity. I feel like the more it's cured, the more that champagne note's coming out in that one too. Uh, so Maple and Model Lemon Pound Cake, um, so you know, pretty straightforward. This one's not bad. Lemony, it's very lemony, it's cakey, you know. Uh, Super Tarts Coven, so cola, cake, butter, vanilla bean, zucchini bread, one of my all-time favourites. I, I love, love, love that scent. Her cola blends are so good. Another cola blend, which I haven't actually tried yet, so Super Tarts Babadook, so cola, pumpkin ice cream, buttercream and cupcakes. Um, I'll be interested to see how this goes. It's not as cola strong as um, Coven. It smells good though. We'll see. Uh, Super Tarts Krampus. So Salty Sierra, Pink Sugar, Patchouli, Black Pepper, Vanilla Bean. So it's like Salty Sierra, Pink Sugar and Lord of Misrule. This one's not bad. It's not. I'm not like crazy for it, but it's pretty good. Uh, Super Tarts Jackal. So Blackberry Jam, Zucchini Bread, Toasted Marshmallow. Love this. Such a rich, delicious, delicious jammy scent. Maple and Mottle... What does that say? Treasure map. Okay, that font is does not work for that word. Uh, coconut shavings, verbena, Mexican lime, Indian sandalwood, and exotic musk. Don't get much scent off it from the top underneath. It's a nice smooth coconutty woodsy, like tea woodsy kind of thing. Super Tarts Brody's Bounty, Sea Salt, Ozone, Seagrass, Plum, Pear, Blackberry. So, Jaws and Blackberry. Um, it smells really good. I don't know why. I've had it in my box a couple of weeks now. I haven't melted it yet. Um, maple and Mottle Golden Marble. So, Sweet Melon, Peo Peony, uh, Magnolias and White Musk. A very pretty sort of sweet floral. quite like it. What other clams have I got here? Uh, so I've got a Haunted Mansion from Super Tarts. So cinnamon bread pudding, pudding, sugar cookie dough, nutmeg, sweet cream. This one is so weird to me because it smells like cola. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's just the type of cinnamon or the nutmeg or the two together, but it really smells like cola to me. Um, Super Tarts 50 First Dates, which is pheromones, pineapples, pina colada. It's a really nice pineapple scent. It's like slightly manly. Scents by Sarah with Sunday Christmas. 
Um, smells a bit like salty sea air and suntan lotion. So, which would make sense. Uh, so, L3 Waxy Wonders Blood is the new Black and Wonka Vision. Blackberry Jam, Butter Cookies, Sugar Cookie Dough, uh, Pretzel, Strawberry, Red Cherry Chip Cake. Um, I really enjoyed this last time as a bakery blend, um, even though I don't love pretzels. I feel like with a bit of cure time, um, this one has been getting better and better. So, I think that will be good. I also threw in... I just wanted to. I just want to make sure I keep melting it. So my staple bakery. So L3 Waxy Wonder Zucchini Bread Cookie Crack. I have two loaves of this, so definitely not one I need to hoard. Um, but it's just this one's just a really good zucchini bread um, with a slight cookie tone. Southbound Southside Serpents. So a hint of smooth leather tobacco, sweetened marshmallow, and sweet bakery. Um, when did I just drop? I don't know. This one's okay. It's not my favourite. I don't know. It's like a slightly smoky kind of bakery, which is okay. Uh, Sassy Girl Aroma again, Montego Bay. So Beach Night and Blackberry Marshmallow. Um, her Beach Nights is not my favourite Beach Nights, but this is kind of nice. I just wish it had more marshmallow. Like more toasted marshmallows and s'mores and stuff. Because that's how I like my beach nights to be. Uh, L3 Waxy Wonders, Boardwalk Mellow Clouds and Palo Santo. I do have a few Boardwalk Mellow Clouds scents in here this week. Mm. This one's, this blend seems stronger on the Boardwalk Mellow than the Palo Santo. But obviously when it melts that could change. Mm. Uh, vintage Chic Sense McBoo. So gooey marshmallows, campfire marshmallow, palo santo, and vanilla frosted grams. I don't know why my voice is all of a sudden run dry. This is a very creamy marshmallow scent. I don't get a huge amount of palo santo, but <clears throat> as you can tell, I've picked a lot of palo santo this week. I do that every week. That's just me. I'm a palo santo melter for life. Uh, vintage Chic Sense Ernest Scared Stupid. So Campfire Marshmallow Smoked Vanilla Palo Santo and Freshly Fallen Leaves. Palo Santo is a good, a good one for me because it's an all-rounder. Like I enjoy it in warm weather and I enjoy it when it's cool. Um, so because at the moment the weather has been, has been, you know, it's sort of late. <clears throat> well, actually it's summer now. Um, but early December is usually still a bit up and down for us. We don't we have a few warm days, but the hot weather that hasn't really hit yet. So it's kind of night Palo Santo is a good and I'd say Boardwalk Mellow Clouds too are good safe choices because it doesn't really matter if I have warm days or cold days. <clears throat> um I'm just gonna enjoy it. So I don't know, my voice has been fine all day, but it's literally just decided to Croak up. Uh, so, Sassy Girl Aroma Disneyland. So, Cotton Candy, Strawberry Pineapple, Orange Lemonade Whipped Cream. This one I know was super popular. It's a good scent, but... Like, it's a good fruity scent, but I maybe don't see the hype. Um, yeah, like, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it, but... Um, it's not a must-have, I don't think. Dessa's apple zucchini bread. So I love her apple zucchini bread. Actually, I need to check and make sure I don't have a shot cup of this before I use this bar. But seriously, her, her and um, L3 do my favourite zucchini breads. Uh, Rose Girl's Blackberry Mocha Wackadoodle. I'm hoping this goes well. I have, Rose Girl's is so hit and miss for me. And her coffee scents, like I just, I want to love them. Like it smells really nice, but who knows how it will go when it warms up. More clams, uh, Super Tarts Baywatch. So this is, I have to read this, the font is so ridiculous on this one. Sugar coated lemons and limes, pineapple slices, coconut, honeydew, and black cherry. This one always puts me off on cold because I really get I get a really strong sort of chemically black cherry, but 
if I recall, it warms up quite nicely. I've had it for a long time. Last year. Um, Super Tart Seasons Greetings. So Ocean, Citrus, Teakwood and Pine. I think I ordered more of this for Wax Wednesday. Which is good because it's just a perfect, perfect mix of outdoorsy scents. Rubbing handfuls. Um, Empire Alchemy among the coral, passion fruit, guava, amber, driftwood, sea salt. I've melted a sample of this before and I loved it. God, it's so beaten up. Her wax does get a little bit this way sometimes. I don't know why. Um, just powdery. Doesn't impact it, but. Mm, this is an amazing fruity scent. One of my all time favourites, actually. You get a really strong guava from it. But I think the amber and the driftwood and the sea salt just really make it special. Uh, Britta's Creepy Treasures The Exorcist. So Palo Santo Patchouli Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. So I received a sample of this recently. And I was going to melt the sample and then I realised I had the pack. So I should melt the pack first because the four dates earlier. Uh, tea Time Tarts uh, Sweet Surprise. So Fire Roasted Marshmallow Driftwood Birthday Cake. Um, I'm really enjoying birthday cake with woods at the moment. So I think that will be really nice. I melted um, birthday cake with Palo Santo this week and it went really well. So, um, I don't like birthday cake normally, but for some reason with woodsy scents, it goes goes good for me. Uh, Teddy Bees, Tangerine Vanilla, Tangerine Gelato, Vanilla and Brett and Marshmallow Magnolias. This is the best um, like grown-up take on an orange creamsicle scent I've ever smelled. Seriously, I'm gonna request. I'm gonna see if I can request this for the next pre-order because it is amazing. Uh, Empire Alchemy Mojave, uh, Mojave. Uh, I know. I someone even told me how to pronounce that, and I probably still get it wrong. Um, a smoky woodsy desert blend of City of Stars and Sway. I like this a lot better than City of Stars on its own. City of Stars on its own was really nice. It's like amber marshmallow and something. But it wasn't strong enough. This one, you get those tones, but it throws much better. I don't know why. And the smokiness really, really... The suede gives a really nice smokiness to it. Empire Alchemy Just Breathe. So melon, hint of temple smoke, rainforest, sugar cane, fresh peaches. See, for this, some reason, this one is a lot cleaner than the other one. That one. This one's great. You get, really do get all of those notes. Just that beautiful cleanness and melon and a bit of peach and the smokiness. It's so good. Alright. Where to next? As I mentioned, like there is a lot of just little things in here. Um... Pumpkin Parcel Scent Spirit Guide. So this was blackberry and patchouli, I think. Yeah, this smells good. Uh, Super Tarts Baby Groot. So Driftwood Cucumber Melon Lavender. This one was better than I thought it would be. I really, It's got quite a nice woodsy tone to it that I like. Savannah Blue Candy Petals. So pink chiffon cotton candy and a touch of wood smoke. This was one of the first scents I ever melted from Savannah Blue and fell in love. Like, this is honestly one of the reasons why I still, I mean, I, Savannah Blue is a bit like Rose Girls for me, can be a little bit hit, hit or miss, but when I find a blend that's a hit, it's amazing, and this was one of them, so, um, yeah. Uh, Waxidents, Paler Santo, Satsuma, Blue Sugar, um, this is really good. This is my own combo. It's more kind of citrusy and blue sugary than Palo Santo-ish, but it's still really good. My bag is ruined, as you can see. I'm going to put that up the camera. That's ugly. Um, L3 Waxy Wonders Masks. So apple and peaches, zucchini, bread, vanilla, butter fudge. I'm glad she put this in a bigger bag. She was putting these sort of shapes in smaller bags that are really hard to get in and out. I've had her apple and peaches before. It smells really good. 
it's coming over quite strongly here. Like, I'm actually not picking up a strong zucchini bread tone. Um, but, yeah, it's really good. Um, I've got... I haven't got the other one here, but basically I want to do a comparison of Pumpkin Parcel's Palo Santo and I've got uh, some L3, just plain Palo Santo. I think um, the... The, this version has a has a kind of citrusy lime kind of touch to it, so I do think it's quite different, but I just want to melt them at the same time to, you know, do a proper comparison. Uh, ebony violet, coconut leaves, and santal. This bag is so beaten up. This is kind of light. It probably needed something a little bit extra, but it's still nice. A kind of nice woodsy tropical ish sort of scent. Um, leftover from like last week and maybe even the week before, blended with love lava lamp, cherry volcano, fizzy pop. Just gonna melt it. I don't know. This hasn't been one I've reached for. It smells like it'll be good though. It's got quite a strong fizzy. Um, so I've got. I might just clear some space. Bear with me. Literally just picked up some wax and shoved. Uh, so we're going to do K's Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds with some strawberry guava. I think that will go quite nicely. Fruity and, you know, sweet, creamy Boardwalk Mellow Clouds goodness. Um, tea Time Tarts Cloud Cookies. So cashmere cookies and Boardwalk Marshmallow. I get a lot of cashmere and a lot of boardwalk marshmallow off that. Not really a cookie scent, so we'll see. Um, L3 cream soda, watermelon, lemonade, fizzy pop. So I am anticipating some warmer days. So this will be for then. It's really, really good. Perfect fizzy, fruity kind of thing. I can only melt scents like that on warm days, but on warm days, in warm afternoons, there's not much else that I want. I just want fruity fizzies. So I should have I should have known um, that I was going to knock my camera over and make a big mess of that. But anyway, um, so yeah, now I've just got lots of little bits of pieces, lots of samples, just lots of lots more little things than I normally do. So uh, Savannah Blue Apple Pear Italian Cream Soda. I probably don't even have time to go through them all in proper detail. But, you know, this one was a bit light for me, I think, but we'll see. Uh, Rose Girls Alice in Slumberland, so I mostly get melon from that. Uh, this one I've carried for a few weeks, uh, Rose Girls Campfire Songs. Um, Candles to the Keeping Room, Strawberry Saltwater Marshmallow Taffy. So... Not sure how I feel about that one if it's too candy. Uh, Rose Girls Poolside, so like blackberry fluffy towels and is it salty sea air? Maybe. I don't mind it. It's okay. It's not like my favourite or anything. Uh, tea Time Tarts Beastly Brew. So this is Palo Santa Coconut Bourbon Earthy Indian Sandalwood Rich Creamy Vanilla. Love, love, love this one. I need to get some more sometime. Uh, blended with love, sounds weird but trust. So zucchini, bread, salty sea, a touch of sandalwood, whipped cream and cream of coconut. Love this, 100% want to get it again. So, so good. Her zucchini bread scents, they're probably not for everyone. I feel like they lean into that salty territory that some people don't like, but I love it. Actually, yeah, so I probably rank that up there with um, L3 and uh, Dessa's zucchini bread. Uh, Empire Alchemy Boys of Summer. I don't know what this one's meant to be, but it's quite minty. Uh, tea Time Tarts, Palo Santo Beachside Blankets, so that's Palo Santo and Beach Nights. Uh, Candles from the Keeping Room, Fresh Blackberry Martini. I quite like her martini scents, so this will be good. Um, yeah, the martini ones, they're nice. it's a nice dry kind of alcohol scent. 
uh, Empire Alchemy Lemon Almond Macarons with Vanilla Cream. I think this was in last week, so I didn't get to it. Because it's got a weird almond note to it, but let's just melt it, see how it goes. Um, this is why I've got clams of Babadook and Haunted Mansion. So I've got the Super Tart sample of Babadook and Haunted Mansion. So I'm literally just going to run this in a different part of the house and just, you know, see, compare, have them melting all at the same time. Um, samples. Samples everywhere. Um, L3 Snow Bunny Boardwalk Mellow Clouds. I don't know what Snow Bunny is. But I think maybe it's got like a sweet mint to it or something. Britta's Voodoo Island. So orange sherbet, lemon curd, Hawaiian punch and whipped cream. She has a lot of Hawaiian punch, I've noticed. I think this is good though. It's got a really nice tanginess with the lemon curd. Um, L3 Cloverfield. So this is... I want to say it's a pears and zucchini bread scent. It smells very nice. But I can't remember what the notes are. Uh, L3 Lego Tastic. Um, smells like tropical gum. Don't know if that's what it's meant to, but it's what it smells like. Uh, Super Tart's Birds and Coraline. So birds being like Harvest Ale. Like spicy, pumpkin-y, donut-y goodness. Coraline, I think, is like, I feel like it's lavender or maple candy or something. I don't think I like Coraline. So I'm not sure because I love birds, but this one has a funny tone. So it could be the Coraline. Coraline, question mark. I don't think she was actually sure if that was what was in it. Uh, Teddy bee's laid on the beach. So this is beach nice, I think, in Palo Santa. So I've got a couple of beach nights in Palo Santo since so I can probably melt at the same time. Uh, one more big handful and then that's everything. So Ritter's Creepy Treasures the Blob. So So White Strawberry Summer Scoop. Had this last week, didn't melt it. Not sure. So white is not a love for me, so I don't know how much I'm gonna like that. Uh, Empire Alchemy. I've had this sample for ages. I don't know why I haven't melted it. Black cassis, uh, black cypress cassis, and cool mint. It smells good because it's. I really like that fresh tone of the cypress, and the mint is not overwhelming. Uh, Dessa's homespun sense mint julep bar. We'll see how it goes. It's like minty orange. I don't love it, but we'll see. Uh, L3 Gingered Bergamot Cashmere Cedar. This smells nice. I think I'm going to enjoy that. Um, it's quite a unique kind of scent. Uh, purple Sugar Snuggles from Teddy Bees. I think it's like pink sugar, blue sugar laundry maybe very laundry like so I might not like it but we'll see pumpkin parcel milky way I think this is raspberry dakiri or daiquiri yeah it smells a little bit milky though um empire alchemy bamboo water green bamboo green mango ferns and coconut water with my hair on it it's nice it's fresh but it's woodsy like bamboo woodsy it's good um, and the last one is L3 Sweet Dreams, which is, I don't know exactly the notes, but it smells very strongly of Lush Twilight. So that is it. That is everything I'm going to melt this week. Hopefully I don't do my head in with all of those samples. Um, so yeah, um, hope everyone's doing really well. Um, and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.